So let's talk about tribalism. Ghanaians have tribal bigots. And we do not we do, we do not hide it. It's a shame that in the 21st century, after 64 years of agreeing to live together, we still treat it other the way we do. It's a shame. Yeah, so it's a known fact that in Ghana, always are called Togolese. I am not offended if you call me a Togolese. The Volta region was once a Togoland. And discrimination against Ewes didn't start today. Oh no. It basically started after the First World, First World War. So when Ewes fought Germans for their freedom. And then there was the war with the British. Well, the British did well to discriminate against us. That forced a lot of Ewes to move to other territories within the Gold Coast. And some had to change their name to be able to live a decent life at the time. And it didn't stop. It's never stopped up to today. But then, yeah, it was more systemic efforts to get Ewes out of the way, making sure that they do not occupy it in a big position yeah they were there most recently was what happened with daniel yao domelevo people have said that it's because of our truthful nature we are too honest we are too just make it very difficult for other people to work with us fine justify it all you want others say that because we are inward looking people others say that we are very fetished and then the list goes on and on the insults are there and it's continued unabated so from colonial time till today I always have to deal with a lot of discrimination that's okay right but now it's going beyond just discriminating against us within the system things that are unspoken the silence culture making sure that they shut us up they silence us you saw what happened post-election the Volta region was militarized the militarization of the Volta region we saw it and people defended it because once again, yeah, it's ours. So do whatever you want to do with them. We hate them anyways. Why are they part of Ghana? But you always forget that we do not force ourselves to be here. But one would think that after 64 years of living together, we will make efforts to live in harmony. One would think that that after 64 years, we would have found a way to deal with our differences. One would think that in a more civilized society, we would have found a way to deal with our differences. But no, we are now institutionalizing it to the extent that books are being written that seeks to ridicule, vilify, and promote stereotypes against ours. And people actually defend it. Books for children to read as early as grade 3, grade 4, seeks to divide us the more. Painting ours in a very bad light. Thank God the Ewe Caucus and Parliament have taken it up. Thank God they have taken it up and invited the Minister of Education to answer some questions. The so-called publishers are said to have apologized. And the apology is even more insulting. How would you sit down and write such a thing? If it were written about your tribe, would you be happy? 
Would you have been happy? Would you have appreciated it? But once again, once it's against us, we are supposed to keep quiet and watch you. Continue what you do to us. To now institutionalizing it, writing about it, teaching children about it, enforcing it. Is that how a civilized society behaves? A civilized people that we wish to create one Africa. And we continuously hammer on our differences. Tribalism is killing this country called Ghana. Yeah, so it's okay that you remove us from leadership positions. We are not complaining. It's okay that you make sure that you put impediments on our way in the offices, especially in the public sector, to get us out of the system. It is okay. But what we will not allow is to write about this for the younger generations to write, to continue to vilify us, to promote stereotypes, to continue to insult us. What has Sally have ever done to you? Have you ever asked yourself that? What has an ever ever done to me before? I've seen stories of saying uh, people saying that our parents say we shouldn't associate with them. But have you ever? Have you ever had any ever done anything but to you before? So when will we stop being tribalistic? I see write-ups all over the place. And people write things. And then they, they put stripes in there. I saw one person that was talking about abusive homes. And then you made reference to a gang man. Honestly, what has the gang got to do with a man being abusive? Is it the tribe that taught him to be abusive? What are we doing to ourselves? Why do we always have to mention tribes when we are talking? Why can't we deal with people on personal basis? So yes, we are at it again. Ghanaians are at it again. Our tribal colors. And we take pleasure in insulting and humiliating and vilifying others that are not of our tribes. So when will we stop? The whole essence of life is to be able to create a society for ourselves where we are able to live a good life, a decent life. But the way at which we go about it, we are not able to achieve anything. A great man once said, that our differences, our diversity, is not a weakness, but a strength. And there is so much wisdom in that. Our identity, our culture, our diverse nature as a country and as a continent shouldn't be seen as a weakness because that is not what it is. But it is a strength. And we have to harness on it. And we have to sell it to other people. We have a beautiful culture. We are blessed to be people from different backgrounds, different dialects, different cultures. Very rich in culture. So Ghana, even as we seek to overcome this one too, this insult, I actually wish that we wouldn't be debating on such a thing. But yeah, that is where we find ourselves to talk about tribalism. Right? Even as we deliberate on this these few days, I pray that we stop defending such attitude because they do not help us in any way. Let's learn how to build ourselves, how to bridge the gaps, and how to love ourselves. 
Because whether you like it or not, we are stuck with each other. Accounts, airways, guns, naughtiness. We are stuck together. So let's work on breaching the gaps. Let's work on that. And let's love lead. Right? Let's love lead. Anyway, so once again, we are at the crossroad. And we are talking about tribalism, bigotry, etc., etc. I hope that one day it becomes a thing of the past. I hope that. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you for watching all of my videos. And I hope that we change for the better. It will really, really help us. Bye.